Hello everyone, Paul Aubin here, and this is part two of the Groin Vault in Revit. Did the video the, the other day in response to a user question about doing Groin Vault with uh, extruded roofs, and I got a lot of responses back from it. A um, few folks suggested a completely alternative approach of working in the massing environment and creating uh, 3D forms and then using the roof by face option. Now this is a perfectly valid option, and of course one of the advantages of the roof by face is that you can really create just about any shape you like and apply the roof by face to it and it does sort of avoid the whole tolerance problem that we were running into at the top of the groin vault uh, in the solution that I proposed. I got another suggestion also about doing an adaptive component so if you are familiar with the masking environment and adaptive components you could do an adaptive component that would be another solution. So those were all good ideas, but it was really the discussion about the tolerance and not being able to get the two intersecting vaults to meet up exactly that spawned the most conversation. So I thought I would take another stab at the two extruded roofs. And uh, it turns out that I think the trouble is um, using the join unjoin roof command at all. So um, this is a really nice command when you have like a single dormer situation. Uh, but, you know, with the intersecting uh, roofs here, didn't seem to do the trick. So I thought, well, what if we just went with join geometry and let's see what we get there. And so you can see I've got these two overlapping uh, roof by extrusions. And then over here in this uh, south elevation, these are exactly the same dimension. So there's no tolerance this time. Um, they're perfectly dead on. And if I go directly to join geometry and just take the two vaults, and join them to one another, you get a nice, perfect intersection uh, right there uh, without any tolerance or problem whatsoever. Now we still have the underneath to deal with, so of course when we look at it, um, you know, it's sort of intersecting like that right now. And similar to the approach I took in the previous movie, I've created some voids here. Now these I created in Family Editor as just um, void geometry, and I did that so that they would be flexible a little bit nicer than the uh, in-place uh, solution that I proposed in the last movie. I just took a little more time on it. So all I have to do is go to Cut Geometry and select my first roof, and then the void form that I want to cut, and then my um, second roof and the void form that I want to cut. And then when we take a look underneath, we get a really nice completed uh, barrel vault condition here. Turn on shading and kind of see the way that looks. Um, and uh, definitely a little bit nicer than the previous solution and it's still using uh, extruded roofs. So again, um, if you want to do it as a massing form with uh, roof by face, like some of my uh, commenters suggested, I, I highly recommend it. I think it's a great approach. Um, if you want to try the adaptive component, that's also another excellent approach. Um, but if you want to stick with more traditional roof forms and uh, the extruded roof and, um, and just work with those, then you have that option as well. So there's certainly no shortage of uh, options for, for you to explore. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.